Hello everybody and welcome to another Dota 2 Mod Spotlight video. Today we are looking at Courier Madness. This is probably one of the best mods I've played so far. I think it's absolutely fantastic and I'm very excited to show this to you. And I think we're just gonna go straight ahead. So as you can see, there's already this how to play uh, screen on the screen, I suppose, right? It's very simple. You just move to the left, to the right. You dodge couriers that come running down towards you. And that's it. You catch golden couriers. You catch enchantresses. And you have an ability that kills all the couriers on the map. If you get hit by a courier, you take one point of damage. You can take up to five points of damage. And, well, that can get increased by the enchantresses, of course, which heal you. Not only do they heal you, but they also give you additional HP, so you can get beyond 5 HP if you catch enchantresses. The golden couriers give you an increase on your multiplier. The multiplier increases no matter what, right? If you play and you survive, your multipliers are going to increase. And this is really a score kind of game. It's about getting a high score. It's single player. It's just you versus the computer. And there is actually a leaderboard for this, which I think is super impressive. I've actually not seen nothing like it. I know of the stats in the mods, but I've never actually seen anybody use it like this. There's a leaderboard that gets updated constantly. And, you know, you can be on there. I certainly will probably not end up on there because I'm not that great at this. But... You know, let me just go ahead and show you. So we're playing Omni Knight right here. And we can move to the left and to the right. So you've got Q and E and R. Those are your only buttons. If you press to the key, if you press Q, you know, you just kind of move one to the left. And you if you press E, you move one step to the right. This is really the only like way you can move, right? You can only do these steps. You can cancel the steps though with different steps. Oh no, I kind of got trapped right there. Now, you might notice there isn't any sound. There's one problem with this mod. Um, not really an issue that you're going to have while playing, more an issue I have while recording. And that is, there's music playing in the background that is licensed. Like, I can't upload that music to my channel. So I had to mute the sound because there's no way to only mute the music. Very sorry about that, but there's very little I can do to fix that. It's not my mod. I can't just go ahead and remove the music. There is sound. Uh, it's actually really nice. It has cool sound effects. I'm just, I just sadly can't show them to you. Now, as you can see, we already got this little multiplier up on um, our, I don't know, courier annihilation ability. I don't really know what, what you would call that. But it's currently times four. So really the goal right here is to just keep this going and... Make sure you get as high of a multiplier as possible before you use your, I guess, ultimate ability. Now, as you can see, this I don't know if this reminds anybody else of Dash dancing in Smash, but it very much reminds me of that. But, ah, I got hit again. It's kind of difficult to play this while also commentating at the same time. Now, as you can see, each courier actually has their own unique pattern. And I actually think that, that the, each courier actually sticks to that pattern like eat in each individual one so you're not gonna find like uh, i don't know like a frog move in a different pattern than that frog does not entirely confident on that i don't know it's a little tricky to tell but as you can see we currently got an eight times multiplayer uh we're doing pretty okay for the time being uh we definitely want that sheep though fuck it let's just go for this hey uh, you know i'm not doing that great ah, i didn't get the sheep that's unfortunate but we're dropping a little low right now. As you can see up to the uh, left, there's also this button, use the cursor to move. So we can use this. I personally wouldn't do that though. Like, I don't know, this is a little awkward, I think. Uh, ah, I just like dash dancing, I suppose, but this is just not for me. Uh, this, this feels clumsy and I don't really like it. God, I admit, mean, not my thing. I prefer this, I think this is really nice. Now, this mod is really polished, as you can see, right? There are great effects, like there's this green flashing fanciness, the dead red, I don't know, amazingness, I don't know really what you would call it. But it just looks really, really pretty, and uh, it's it's just well put together. Even on at the, like, at the sidelines, you can see, like, other heroes kind of cheering you on, I guess is what they're supposed to do. Like, right now, they're just kind of standing there and... Um, 
pretty bored with this entire spectacle. Maybe they're waiting for the A turn. I don't know. <laughs> but either way, it's just uh, it's just really polished. Like I like that a lot. There's not really any other mod I've seen so far that is this polished. And uh, yeah, it's just really cool. Like look at this. This is amazing, right? That this exists is just super impressive. I think this is like this is easily one of the best mods I have played. Like purely based on polish, like purely based on how well it's made and like like I guess like how much it is what it tries to be, it's it's the best, right? Even though I'm more keen on something like Legends of Dota because uh, this is really something like if you enjoy this, you're gonna enjoy it, right? If you don't, then you won't. Like this is just not really for me. It's not quite my thing. Though, you know, a few rounds is actually quite fun for me. But I wouldn't play it for hours and hours and, you know, desperately try to get the high score. Though I can, look, that's a cool thing. Like if you do that, that's fucking amazing. But that's just not for me, right? Still. I, uh, oh man, I, I, I okay, I'm gonna have to pop him. <laughs> I just can't do it, man. This is just not happening. But I'm just very impressed by this. Like, this is just really well put together. And, uh, you know, like, I guess that's really all there is left to say. Like, even as you see now, if I get killed, you get this awesome animation. Like, all of the couriers come charging at you and start eating you. And, the game even restarts, right? It doesn't keep going until you, you know, died once and then it stops. No, you can't just continue playing, as you see. Boom, there I am again, and the game continues. I really like all of those aspects. Like, that is just absolutely fantastic. Now, as you can see up there, my high score currently 2,000. Let's try to let's try to beat that, right? Let's try if maybe we can get something done here. I'm not entirely sure if we can do it, but... Mm, how did I... You know, come, I guess, around like to taking a look at this mod and showing it off. Uh, because uh, actually the, the developer of it messaged me and was like, hey, you know, like I made this. You showed off War Chasers. Do you want to show this one off as well? Hell yeah, I do, dude. This is awesome. This is fantastic. Right? This is really, really well made. And um, I can only recommend it. I'm going to put a link down below, right? If you want to play this, feel free. Like that. This is, this is cool. And... It's kind of cute, like, that you get to see all of the couriers. I did not know that there were this many couriers in Dota. And I've not seen half of these. And I play a lot of Dota. Like, this is a little silly. <laughs> but, you know, it's quite nice. Now, one thing I don't like about this mode, right? I keep praising it. But I think it's a little luck-based, from what I can tell. This might be wrong, right? Like, if we actually take a look at the map, it might turn out that no... Like, this evens out. But I don't know, right? Again, I didn't make it. It seems a little bit luck-based. Um, if you get a lot of the golden sheeps, you are just going to get a higher score, right? As you can see, we already got a multiplier of 7. That is insane. Like, that is a really good multiplier very early on. I don't even know how we got that much of it. And there's another golden sheep, right? It's really all about getting the multiplier going on. And if you get a lot of these golden sheeps, right, and you manage to secure them, then... You're just you're just gonna get a really high score simply based on that. I think when I got my 2k score, I had a multiplier of 12 or something like that. So it just seems a little luck based at times, which I'm personally not a big fan of, right? Like I feel like if I'm playing like a score attack game, right, a game where I'm trying to get the highest score, I should be in complete control of it, right? And the game should really be this not not really the same, right? But it should be equally predictable every single time I play it. And I'm not sure this one is. But other than that, I really don't have much to say. Like it's just really well done. Right, and let me go ahead and get that golden sheep. Uh, ah, oh no! Okay, I don't, I don't want to risk dying here. Um, but for the time being, I suppose we are still. Ah, oh, let's pop him. Okay, well, you know, we got the decent score out of that one, but I think I would have died right there. Mm, I don't know if we can beat my high score. I don't know if we can do it, but we were doing really well right there. Maybe if we get a few more sheep, you know. You might be able to pull it off. Again, there is sound to this, right? I just can't show it because it's gonna get blocked on my YouTube channel, right? Like, it's, I just can't do it. I, I'm sorry, it doesn't work. Um, and I gotta admit, like, I really like the idea of playing music, 
But I feel that as a model, like if you, you know, kind of want to get publicity from YouTube and stuff, you got to take care that you're using unlicensed music because else nobody can really show it. Um, You know, that's a little bit unfortunate, but I guess you wouldn't know about that, right? Anyway. I suppose that's really all there is to say about this, right? Uh, you guys got to see it. I personally really enjoy it uh, for what it is. It's not something that I'm going to play a ton of just because I'm not really the, that kind of guy. I just, it's it's amazing for what it is. It's just not for me, right? It's like custom hero survival. But I can only recommend it. I really can only recommend it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating on the video. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow. See ya.